Every time you see bad boy come through, right side for me! All odds. The best things in life are free, but you can keep them for the best and please not give me more. That's what I want. That's what I want. Castlemaine Secondary College's incisive political commentary, Lives in the Balance.
Now, no matter what you're thinking, don't go. This gives us a tragic tale of unappreciated genius, Vincent. If you're trying to pick this afternoon's winner. The Quest, Redcliffe Secondary College's magical mystery tour.
Milton Secondary College, Tanya. Coming up next, get ready to rock as we check out your state's winner of the Commonwealth Maiden. You only see what your eyes want to see. How can life be what you want it to be? You're frozen when your heart's not open.
Chambouche Fire Chambouche It wasn't easy Western Heights College, with their spectacular dance-a-rama and night at Coco's. Thumb night, Coco. So what did you think about the ad? Uh, choose your future. Choose life.
Coming up out of the break, we can't dare. The mystery flight is now boarding at gate 31.
That's it. Year's winner is... is... The winner of the 2000 National Alcohol Campaign Rocker Stedford Challenge Victorian TV Special is... Ballerine Secondary College. The mystery flight is now boarding at gate 31. a winner means making the right choices. Whether it's the choices you make in putting together a Rocker Stedford Challenge performance or the choices about drinking alcohol. Congratulations Ballerine Secondary College. See you next Saturday. If you want your school to be involved in the year 2001 Rocker Stedford Challenge, please call our office during business hours. Sydney, 02 9417 4122, toll free 1300 725 287, or look us up on our website www.rockchallenge.com.au. This program was proudly brought to you by the 2000 National. of Australia's best schools and colleges go dance for dance, uh, song for song, uh, theme for theme, right. for the right to take home the big one. That's right. The 2000 National, National Alcohol, Alcohol Campaign, Campaign Rock is Dead for Challenge, Australian, Australian Champion of Champions. <laughs> Right now, let's go backstage and see what some of our participants had to say about being part of this year's Rocker Stepford Challenge. What do, you think, what do you think the message of Rocker Stepford is here? Guys? Have fun! Yeah. Everyone just has a great time, meets lots of new people. Yeah. Come together and get to know everyone, like all different years. Free couch! Yeah, yeah. mate, yeah. just hanging on that couch. Rocker Stepford, 100% passion. Yeah. 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 Greatest storyteller of her age. So good, in fact, that for a thousand and one nights she kept a murderous king at bay. ACT state winner Marichi College presents the legendary Arabian enchantress Shahrazad. <laughs> Midnight in King Sharia's palace, the 
ghosts of his past wives are restless. In the marketplace of Balsora, the arrogant Prince Zamur encounters the Princess Zobede. Scheherazade alive, as he eagerly anticipated each new story. After 1,001 adventurous nights, he had not only been entertained, but wisely educated in morality. He married Scheherazade, and they lived happily ever after. Queensland State winner Bribey Island State High School's dramatic story of the birth of democracy in Australia, Eureka.
Now, on last week's Rocker Stepper Challenge TV specials, we introduced to you some very cool national alcohol campaign youth reporters. Remember this? Thanks, Jade and Ryan. I'm Rihanna. I'm Tim. And I'm Shona. Life is all about choices. When it comes to drinking alcohol, the wrong choices can mean big problems. That's why we thought we'd check out what participants in the 2000 Rocker Stepper Challenge have to say. Thanks for all your emails and letters asking us to bring them back. And that's just what we'll be doing right after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. As part of their fantastic support for the Rocker Stepper Challenge, the National Alcohol Campaign sent along Rihanna, Shona and Tim to get inside the story of drinking and the choices we make. Sheridan, what did you think about the ads? I thought they were very effective. Um, the kids don't need to be lectured. They need to like have a visual thing of what happens when you drink and the consequences. Well, they were very true. Like That's what really happens at those kind of parties and they really make you think like the consequences of your actions. I think it's a, that it's a positive and good way of just telling everyone it's the choices you make, that if, when you drink alcohol, you do really messed up stuff. That's a great message. That's right. You know, making the right choice is what it's all about. You know, they say that every minute of the day, a football field's worth of trees is cut down in the Amazon. Our West Australian state winners, Como Senior High School, ask at what price with their environmental expose, urbanisation. <laughs>
You know, if you're trying to pick this evening's winning school, then spare a thought for our hard-working TV judges. The judges base their evaluation of each school's or college's performance solely on what they see on their TV screen. That's right, our TV judges are totally independent from the Rocker Stepper Challenges live event judges. Last week, they selected our state Rocker Stepper Challenge champions together with some late-breaking wildcard entries to go through this evening's big one. That's right, Ryan, and this is how they do it. Our TV judges rank each school according to the following categories. Design, performance, drama, and production. Each of these are judged from a television perspective. Now let's take a look at this year's fantastic regional winning schools. Introducing New South Wales regional winners, PLC's clever reinterpretation of the Peter Pan story, Hooked. Queensland regional winners, Can State High School's exploration of fantasy and reality, Extreme Dreams. Coming up after the break, get ready to rock as we check out the winner of the 2000 Commonwealth Youth Affairs National Battle of the Bands. What choices do you think you have when it comes to drinking? It's all up to you. You've got to be in control. And 
it's whether you want to do it. I know there's a lot of peer pressure, especially at our age. Well, you can be an idiot and you can drink lots and kill yourself and go out and do something stupid or you can be sensible about it. Basically, it's their decision. I mean, no, you shouldn't let anyone force you into anything that you don't want to do. It's up to you completely, entirely. Monday. <laughs> this is one... The Commonwealth Youth Affairs National Battle of the Bands. Showcasing the talent and songs of the best new high school bands from around Australia. This year's national prize package includes $1,000, a gold CD, one day in a leading recording studio, personalised T-shirts from Speak Out Streetwear, and special live performances at the Pacific Circle Music Expo in Sydney and the Australian Live Music Awards in Melbourne. The Commonwealth Youth Affairs National Battle of the Bands, proudly supporting Australia's up-and-coming musical talent. The 2000 Commonwealth Youth Affairs National Battle of the Bands continues to attract more and more top-class young Australian bands. That is right. This year, the overall standard of musicianship and songwriting has been absolutely excellent. This competition has turned into a premier showcase for the next generation of up-and-coming bands aspiring to make their mark and become the next Silverchair or, well, Killing Heidi. Here's one band who has every chance of doing just that. This year's 2000 Commonwealth Youth Affairs National Battle of the Bands winner is... Is... The winner is... Tasmania's Masters of Metal Groove, Bionic Bilby. finish off our CDs, about 14 tracks long, all original, and we hope to send it off to recording companies. Anyone who's interested can hopefully get signed. History contains many chilling examples of racism and genocide, none more appalling than the mass murder of millions of Jewish people during World War II. Now, South Australian state winners, the Heights School, present the terrible tragedy that will be known forevermore as the Holocaust.
Apart from sponsoring the Rocker Stedford Challenge TV specials, the National Alcohol Campaign has one very cool net site. It's your chance to enter the competition to win great prizes from Video Easy, Dick Smith Electronics, and looking for Alabrandi. Okay, so fire up your modems and get connected to www.drinkingchoices.com and register to win one of these great prizes. So why do you think sometimes teenagers do decide to drink too much? Um, peer pressure, um, maybe to feel more confident about themselves, um, rebellion maybe. Or well, they're trying to maybe escape life or peer pressure often and they just take it too far. Maybe because they're uneducated about having like natural highs do happen <laughs> or um, maybe you know just to be cool to have that image. Come on kids, let's try the lights. So what did you think about the ad? Uh, it seems they're very effective, it certainly worked on me. Both of them were really good ads because they gave two perspectives, you know, like it was, you saw what would happen po like on the positive side and, and the negative side and I think teenagers really need that. Watching them, it shows you that if you do decide to drink that there are a lot of consequences and you have to really think about what you're doing. Everyone knows that girls are a big part of the Rocker Stedford Challenge, but over the past few years, more and more boys are joining in all the on-stage and backstage fun and excitement. Introducing Siri Mako and Mutu Browning from St Edmunds College, Canberra. I think what dance does for St Edmunds as a school, it like, helps the people realise the depth of our diversity through the work we've done and I'm proud of everyone that's done this. There's no fixed dance classes at our school. So what you all see or what you get to see is all done in our own time. Don't do it because you think you're gonna get popular or something. Don't think of it for other reasons. Think of it because you know you wanna dance and that's what you like to do. Recall the party of a lifetime, 31st of December. Man, I remember when the ball dropped for 90. Now it's 9-9, 10 years. The buzz, there's no better feeling than being up on stage entertaining the crowd there's no other better experience than that if we did cop flack and i know me and siri personally because when you're 12 we didn't cop, cop much flack but other younger kids yeah. they do but we just tell them to keep their heads up because all the really they want to do all the boys are teasing them about that sort of stuff just want to do it themselves and they say that they say that you you'll see them teasing you about it but they'll be in it next year And we're trying to break the tradition of contemporary sort of styles. We just want to bring our own sort of street, hip hop and R&B type moves. Just something different. We want to just be unique, stand out from other schools. If you know what you want to do and that is to dance and you want to entertain and you want to get out there and do your thing, then that's what you got to do. Don't let anyone stop you from doing that because others will follow. Others will definitely follow if you lead the way. Thank you very much. Welcome back, everybody. Introducing our Victorian wildcard, Monterey Secondary College, as they take us on an archaeological dig high in the Mongolian mountains, where they unlock the secret prophecies of a 2,000-year-old tattooed ice maiden. You only see what your eyes want to see. How can life be what you want it to be? frozen when your heart's not open
One of the big secrets to the success of Rockers Deadford Challenge is the vital role teachers play in the preparation and rehearsal of all the performances that you're seeing this evening. Introducing a special Christmas tribute in recognition of all of the teachers who have ever put up their hand to work on a Rockers Deadford Challenge production. Every year, they are right there beside you, working with you, watching, encouraging, supporting. Every year, they are at all of your planning meetings, your workshops, your rehearsals. Their presence vital to maintaining the momentum towards the final performance. Mentor, guide, friend. Sharing the fun times, the hard times, the best time of your life. Every year, they are right there beside you. New South Wales state winner, Bomaderry High School's haunting tale of love gone wrong, the Willow Pattern.
Watching the 2000 National Alcohol Campaign Rock a Stedford Challenge Australian Christmas TV special. Drinking, where are your choices taking you? Coming up, get ready to rock! As we announce our National Special Awards winners! <laughs> okay, what are some good reasons not to drink too much? The bad consequences, some things like you could be so drunk that something really bad and causing death or something like that just really bad consequences that can like really destroy your life and other people's lives. Uh, you lose your mind when you're drunk and you do things that you you wouldn't do. I don't like to feel vulnerable. I don't like to think that something bad could happen to me because I wasn't in control. So Dana, what did you think about the ads? Oh, they made an impact from the first time you watched it. I've seen it many times and every time you watch it, it just makes even more of an impact. You only have to watch it once to actually get through to you and make you think about drinking and the choices that you make when you drink. Most people probably at parties don't see any of the choice, but drinking, the ad shows you like another side to it, like that you can have a good time without drinking. You know, the great thing about the Rockers Temper Challenge is the opportunity it provides for everyone to participate in a, in a positive environment that recognises not only talent, not only creativity, but also the power and rewards of teamwork. That's right, Lapos. Introducing our 2000 Rocket Stepford Challenge Special Awards winners. Congratulations to Miles State High School, winner of the National Alcohol Campaign Drug Awareness Award. Also, special recognition to Waratah Technology High School for their ongoing drug awareness campaign. Mandra State High School, winner of the McDonald's National Stage Crew Award. Keegan Hodge from Cannes State High School, winner of the National Costume Design Award. Nicole Yankovic from Gilroy Santa Maria College, winner of the National Set Design Award. Michelle Watson, Crystal Atkinson and Kristen Honeyset from Echuca High School, winners of the National Student Achievement Award. And now with the tragic story of two people caught in the crossfire between love and desire, New South Wales wildcard entrance, Ramwick Girls and Boys Technology give us the legendary Carmen. <laughs>
Something for everyone. New South Wales wild card winner, Pimble Ladies College's journey through life. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade. But trust me, in 20 years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead. Sometimes you're behind. The race is long. In the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. 
Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Someday a spirit will take you and guide you there. I know you've been hurting, but I've been waiting to be there for you. And I'll be there just helping you out. After the break, we go back to back with some of our special wildcard schools. You're watching Australia's number one youth cultural event, the 2000 National Alcohol Campaign, Rocker Stepper Challenge, Australian Christmas TV Special. Drinking! We're your choices taking you. What advice would you give your little brother or sister about alcohol? Not to touch it. If those ads are still around, watch the ads. Um, wait till you're older. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd tell them not, never to drink too much, never to get drunk, never to drive when you're drinking. Why does every... What choices do you think you have uh, concerning alcohol? Um, a lot. I've got the choice if I want to drink or I don't want to drink. And it's my decision whether I do it or not. No one's going to force me into it and I'm not going to let anyone force me into it. So I suppose I've got a lot of choices. When you're actually affected by it, you don't have choices that much. Once you've been drinking, you don't have too much choices on the actions you take, but you have choices before it, whether to do it, if you're going to do it, how much and who with. Deafening they are. Just four more performances to go, so let's kick straight into it with a high voltage rocker step of challenge double play. Oh yes, first up, ACT Wildcard St Edmunds College give us their famous fable of the wolf boy, the prince and the power of brotherly love, Romulus. And read Big KCR, bringing it there. What? Say what, 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 say what, what? And do what with it? Here it comes, the party of a lifetime. 31st of December. Man, I remember when the ball dropped for 90. Now it's 99. Ten years behind me, what's gonna happen? Don't nobody know. We'll see when the clock hits the 12:00. Chaos, the cops gonna block the street. Man, who the hell cares? Just don't stop the beat. No time to sleep. Yo, it's on tonight. KC, you feeling me right? Two zero 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 will two K. The new millennium. Yo, excuse me, yeah. millennium. <laughs> Sire, you have tweens. Son, this is all your kingdom.
brothers. Are you ready? Five, four, three, you know the rest. Jump, everybody, jump, everybody, jump. Victorian wildcard, Melton Secondary College's Spanish ode to the power of love, De Amor en España. <laughs> Thank you. 
Puedes besar otros labios Pero nunca te olvidaré Pero nunca te olvidaré After the break, we travelled Alice Springs, Moree and Weepa to see our sister event, the Crocker Stepford Festival, in action. Do your parents talk to you about alcohol? Yeah. Um, my mum asked me not to drink until I'm 18 and I respect that because she trusts me. I didn't drink at all, so. But if I did when I'm older, my mum's been telling me stuff like, take water in between and to limit yourself. Pour your own drinks and um, know when to say no. Yes, you know, the basic things, don't like um, leave your drink unattended, don't accept drink from strangers. Everybody knows about the Rocker Stedford Challenge, but did you know since 1998, our sister event, the Crocker Stedford Festival, has been a huge success throughout rural and remote Australia. Let's take a look at why. In the space of three years, the Crocker Stedford Festivals have grown to become one of the most important and eagerly anticipated events in our rural and remote communities, bringing everyone together for a three-day celebration of song, dance and sport. It is an opportunity, as Peter said, for so many young Australians in this part of our country to demonstrate their particular talent to show to the people of Australia and not just to the people of Moree of how people of different backgrounds and different cultures can work together and contribute to a great sense of community and a great sense of oneness as all Australians together. Like its sister event, the Rocker Stedford Challenge, the Crocker Stedford Festival sees hundreds of schools come together to share in all the excitement and fun of performing in a drug and alcohol free environment. Performances range from the traditional to the topical. The festivals included everything from a health expo, careers markets to sporting clinics and ended with a massive fireworks display. The Crocker Stedford Festival. Health education, employment and reconciliation in action. Get ready to meet our Tasmanian state winners, Guildford Young College, as they celebrate the power of friends and family with Jubilee 2000. <laughs>
Don't go away. Coming up after the break, our final school for tonight before we ask our TV judges to cast their book. You're watching Australia's number one youth cultural event. The 2000 National Alcohol Campaign Rock is Dead for Challenge Australian Christmas TV Special. Tricky. Very choice of taking. So why do you think some teenagers drink too much sometimes? Uh, probably family problems. They're bored. Um, just or they're sick of their life. Peer pressure, silly things like that that just think they can handle it and they can't handle it really and they just don't know what they're in for. I think kids these days are in such a hurry to grow up. Like they see the, ad the adults drinking and they think, oh yes, I can, you know, I'll, I'll be cool and drink as well and I'll be grown up. When Big Sister becomes a big pain. The things you see in the ads are exactly the things you'll see if you go to a drunken teenage party, the drinking, the you know, punching, the sex, you know, it, it actually happens and it's good that you confront, you, you use that because you, with the ads, you, after you see them, you actually worry about the people in them. It's that real that you really think, you know, well, where are my choices taking me? So they're pretty realistic, aren't they? They are very realistic. Welcome back, everybody. Please welcome last but not least in tonight's amazing lineup of Rocker Stedford Challenge talent, Victoria State winner, Bellarine Secondary College as they present their fabulous fantasy ride, Mystery Flight, Destination Unknown. The Mystery Flight is now boarding at gate 31.
Great. That's if you've just seen the best from the north, south, east and west. Congratulations to each and every one of you. That's right. Not only have you done your schools proud, but you've done yourselves proud as well. Let's take one last look at all of our schools and colleges before our TV judges cast their final word. <laughs> our first school this evening is Marici College, Shahrazade. Bribey Island State High School, Eureka. Western Australia's Como Senior High School, Urbanisation. PLC Armadale, Hoot. Cannes State High School, Extreme Dreams. The Heights School, Holocaust. Monterey Secondary College, Ice Maiden. Bomadary High School, the Willow Pattern. Randwick Girls and Boys High School, Carmen. Pimble Ladies College, something for everyone. St. Edmunds College, Romulus and Remus. Melton Secondary College, De Amor and Espana. Guilford Young College, Jubilee 2000. Our last school for this evening, Bellarine Secondary College, Mystery Flight, Destination Unknown. After the break, the answer is the question you've all been waiting for. Who will be the 2000 National Alcohol Campaign Rocket Stepper Challenge Australian Champion of Champions? Oh, yeah! Do you know of anyone who's had a bad experience when they've drunk too much? Unfortunately, at our age, there are a lot of people who put themselves in um, bad, bad situations when they drink too much. Um, they make the wrong decisions, and if they are drinking, they um, endanger other people as well. One of my brother's friends went out one night and got drunk, and went and he got halfway home and got mugged, and he ended up in hospital and came for four weeks. Carry on with the freestyler. Next, check out. So what sort of things do you do to have a great time without drinking? I like to go just go out to parties and have fun with my friends, go to the movies. I don't need alcohol to have a good time. Basically hanging out with friends, even going to parties but not drinking, just having a good time and going to the movies, shopping. I do everything. I can't get enough. I, I, um, I dance, I sing, I act, I like participate in every event that I, go, I can, like Olympics and Rocket Stepford. I love Rocket Stepford. I go to movies with my friends, go out with my boyfriend, I do everything. Congratulations to all of our schools, colleges, friends, supporters and communities who helped make the Rocket Stepford Challenge Australia's number one youth performing arts event. And uh, from all of us to all of you, have a Merry Christmas and a safe Happy New Year. That's right. And a special thanks to all the principal staff and students from North Mead High School for playing host to this year's TV special. OK, our TV judges have given us the word. The Rocket Stepford Champion School is... <gasps> the winner is... The Sensational... Bomadary High School!
Being a winner means making the right choices. Whether it's the choices you make in putting together a Rocker Steadford Challenge performance or choices about drinking alcohol. Congratulations once again to Bomaderry High School and all the other colleges and schools who participated in this evening's program. You are all winners. On behalf of the entire Rocker Steadford Challenge team, executive producer Peter Showquist says a heartfelt thank you to each and